So today is Monday, the 19th, 2022. And my birthday is Wednesday, September 21st. And I chronologically will be turning 59, they say. And I came over to my mom's to make a drink that I made a couple weeks ago for my friends in Tallahassee. And she said, can you make me one without the alcohol? I said, sure. So I got all the stuff. I came over here and she surprised me with this. She handmade this banner some kind of way. She decorated with the flowers and she bought all of this skull stuff <laughs> that I'm into right now. And, I, and she made these cards. Isn't that beautiful? So I've been into these skulls for the past couple of weeks and they're just showing up everywhere. And I had no idea my mom was preparing all this for me. So I really, oh, she made these flowers right here too. She made that by hand. There's another one over here somewhere. She just moved in to her place. So if you see any boxes and bags and stuff, that's what's happening. But she made all of those by hand as well. And um, I just wanted to share this moment. Uh-oh. I don't know what happened right there. I don't know how to turn this around, but other than to look at me like this. So she got me a happy birthday banner. And it's outside the door. So when I came, I was quite surprised that this was going on. Happy birthday banner. Happy birthday to me. Here it is. And so my sister came. David's here. My mom, her husband, and a couple other people may be showing up. So we're having some food and I made the um, Bloody Marys again. Mom's without the alcohol. And then a whole big old one here with the alcohol. And um, we're waiting for them to get back so we can start to eat. So I've been collecting these skulls is what I wanted to talk about. And my mom went and got all these plates and things. And I got one plate, my friend Artemis and I were in Tallahassee, and I said, I'm just gonna get one plate and one pair of socks with the skulls on it. I get here, my mom done bought the plates. She bought the serving trays. She made the cards. She bought the fan and I was gonna get a fan and I put it back. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't need the fan. She got me the fan. I was like, oh, mom. She got the mask. <laughs> She went all in. I was like, thanks, mom. That was so sweet. She was like, oh, this might be the last birthday. I'm like, don't say that. Well, you know, I'm just telling you, I want you to remember this day. This might be the last one. I'm like, please don't say stuff like that. Let's speak positivity out into the universe. So I've been looking into these skulls, and they're representing to me the spirit or the full circle of life. Once we have laid down this physical aspect of ourselves, we return consciously from whence we came, which is the spirit world. So I don't see these skulls as anything scary or spooky or anything like that. As you can see, they have flowers and beautiful colors, and I think they represent spirit, you know, and connection and knowingness of who we really are. So I'm appreciative. And so I've been collecting them for the past couple of weeks, and now I have several. I got one the other day, and it's down in here. <laughs> Look at it, so cute. This is a blue Caribbean calcite. And it has some properties that helps you remember who you are and why you're here. So I've been wearing it. It's all hot and warm. I've been wearing it close to my skin last night and today. And so I'm looking forward to see what it will be revealing to me. So I have another video coming up shortly where my dad sent me some money, but some kind of way it got into my mama's hands and I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know what, what went down, but she said, oh, that's mine. I was like, oh, God. So, all right, just wanted to share. Thank you very much. Holla back.